singing back to the hotel where we were staying. Christmas decorations. Well, after that, pretty many singles with Kadabi Shrikanth coming through in three games against his young teammate Lakshya Saint. We turn our attention to men's doubles, and it's the number seven seeds Kim Astrop and Anna's. Rasmussen of Denmark up against Her Ji Ting and Tan Chiang. Well, if you were with us earlier, you will have seen that Hoki and Kobayashi absolutely overwhelmed on and Tio from Malaysia. 32 minutes only for 21 13, 21 9. So, who will join Hoki and Kobayashi in the men's doubles final tomorrow? Number 16 seeds from China emerge first, He Ju Ting and Tang Chia. And for the day is Kim Astro and others of Rasmus. Well, by virtue of the fact that they are in the semi-final, they become the first European men's doubles pair to medal at the World Championships for seven years since Paul Morganson won bronze in Copenhagen in 2014. And their desire goes far beyond the bronze medal. Well, this will be a fourth meeting, I can tell you, between these two pairs. And of the previous three, Astrup and Erasmussen have won two of them. But the last time they met, which was in the first round of the 2018 French Super 750 event, it was the Chinese pair who won in the three games. Red for, okay. Red for the Danes. Red, your choice. Kim, sir, who is receiving? Head receiving. So, Side is okay. Astro said serve, which I'm slightly surprised about. I'm also surprised that once again we have four players on court who are wearing predominantly white shirts. The regulations specified that the colour of the shirts needed to be significantly different. Her GT is 23 years of age from Shaw in Fujian province, and he and his partner are 24 in the world ranking at the moment, although they have been as high as 10. And the surprising thing is, they are the highest ranked men's doubles pair on the world ranking from China. Tan Tian is also 23 and he's from Nanjing in Jiangsu province. Nanjing is where we had the World Championships of 2018. Only one tournament prior to this, this year, for the Chinese combination and they lost the first round of the Denmark Open to a certain Hoki and Kobayashi, which is the pair that awaits the winner of this. Well, they had a bye in the first round, then they played against Henning and Stallworth. There was three games there, three games in the next round against the Olympic bronze medalists, Cha and So. And in the quarterfinal against the number 10 seeds, the silver medalists from the 2016 Olympic Games, Gobi Shen and Tan Wu Pyong. That's the only one. They've won two straight games. So to the date. And this is Anna's Rasmussen, who's just become a father for a second time. 32 years of age, born in Oda, just south of Orkis. And they are currently 10 in the world ranking. They did spend three weeks at number five across two different spells. So they're playing their fifth world championship as a pair. The left-handed Kim Astrop is 29 and he was born in Fernie. Just under six foot one. And they've been in two finals this year. They won the Swiss Open, that was a 300 event. Lost in the final of the Denmark Open to Hoki Kobayashi. And they had a bye, then beat Koga and Saito in two straight games, then beat the European champions, Ivanov and Sosnov, number 11 seeds. And then in the quarter-final, came through a thriller of an opening game against the number 12 seeds, Lanspus and Seidel. Second 
and third game were pretty convincing. 21-9 in the deciding game. So Fabio Beto of Italy is our umpire for this one and Iris Vetspolu of Estonia, the service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kim Astrup and Anders Paul Rasmussen, Denmark. And on my left, Ken Ji Lin and Tan Chan, China. Kim Astrup, the circle Hei Ji Ting. Love all. Play. So the Danes. The number seven seeds are getting the semi final so the way against the number 16 seeds, Herji Ting and Tang Jian. Yeah. Well, I was watching the Chinese Love. pair play their quarter final yesterday, and I thought Herji Ting was absolutely outstanding. I think he's a very creative player. I agree. Uh, we had them um, recently, and as Rasmussen two. standing in front of uh, Ho Chi Ting at the uh, Sugiman Cup with two different partners, Rasmussen with uh, Frederick Sogard and uh, Ho Chi Ting with uh, what's it? Zhou oh. Haodong? It was. Yeah. The Danes eventually won a uh, match three. there, and now they've sort one. of. Switch back to their regular partners, and I think uh, the Danes are going to put a lot of um, emphasis on uh, Tan Kyung. So it's all about two, three. The Danes played a great match yesterday, a good comeback against Lamsfus and uh, Seidel after losing the first game in. Um, Extra points, they totally controlled the match. Yeah. Three, all. fond of their draw for this tournament as it was clear that um, Indonesia was not um, coming to Huelva. They felt it was a really tough one with the Kogan sites in the first round. But very often the Danes they tend to get better when they get into the tournament. Confident that's well played by Tim Kent. Service over, 4-0. Good placement on the right shoulder of Astrup and then an easy kill. Oh. Service over, 5-4. Yeah. Perhaps a little nervous. I think he's very, very nervous. He accounts for three of the five Danish points so far. Good play. Oh. So he's over five. Oh. On the other hand, Ho Chi Ting, I always find that he has some um, excess capacity in his um, game. What do you mean by that? It seems like he can always do more. I, um, if I should um, compare him to players, it's a little bit like Kim Dong Moon from um, Korea, former Olympic um, champion, and uh, Das Poske from uh, Denmark. They always seem to um, be able to play the match with a tie on, so to speak, shirt and tie, because they seem to be in balance and can always cope with what's thrown at them. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's well left by Astor. Eight, five. Not oh. that came off the frame of the racket. So it's all about six, eight. So important to uh, get the flicks into the game to keep the opponents honest. You can see how much Rasmussen was focusing on the short. That's right. Yeah, good pressure from Astor. Turn is over. Nine, eight. Well, China's had a very good record in the men's doubles at the World Championships in recent years. Six golds from the last 11 World Championships and nine medals from the last 11 World Championships in the men's doubles discipline. Yeah. China had the uh, Fu and Chai air with Fu Haifeng and uh, Chai Yun. Didn't they win four gold medals? They, they did indeed. Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan in 2017 and in 2018 Li Junhui, who's now retired, and Li Yu Chen. Yeah, that's going to be interesting to see what China is going to do in terms of uh, the Yu Chen and a new partnership. Mm. So it's over nine, ten. Well, the fact that Her Ji Ting was teamed up with Zhao Haodong during the Sudan Cup campaign. I don't know whether that was because of an injury to Tang Chian. We were discussing it yesterday, and I discussed it with, with Morton. Or uh, whether they think that Tang Chian perhaps isn't going to be develop enough. Yeah. Then, I think that's the case. Oh, yeah. I think it was, they were trying to make the best combination. And Zhou um, Haodong's yeah, partner, Han oh. Chenkai, retired he, as well. Yeah, he's retired which is why this Chinese pair is the highest ranked Chinese pair on the world rankings. And they're down at 24 at the moment. So the one point advantage at the game interval is with the Danes. Thomas Stanmore, their coach on quickly to give advice. So, sadly, we didn't hear any of that. 11, 10. None of that Flight. coaching.
Oh. Oh, it was a wonderful return of serve from her team. team. But Astro was equal to it. I don't know if you noticed, Steen, but after the last rally before the mid-game interval, uh, when Tian Chu and Tian Tan Qian uh, played them into trouble or couldn't get to the shuttle or something, yeah. did you see the look on the face of Her Ji Ting? And oh, that, yeah. to me, was very telling. I don't think he has complete confidence in his partner. No. Oh, it's going to go all right. I would, um, if I were China, I would um, strongly consider putting uh, Her Ji Ting together with uh, Li Yu Chen. Yeah. If it was you. Okay. Running to Thomas Dango. Oh, he's allowed to shout out after a rally or between rallies, but not during a rally. Position to see that line, but I felt that was in. Here we go. Yeah. Challenge unsuccessful. Oh, One right. challenge remaining. Service over 12. 14. Yeah. Black. Clearly on the line. There's much room for us to work with there. But you think it was uh, following it all the way. Good serve from her GT. 14. Oh. I don't quite know how a shuttle can become distorted after a low serve. But there we go. Yeah, good work by her GT. Yeah, and the Danes, they've got to get it past her Ting when he's at the net. I think they've got to keep it away from him, period. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice shot. Yeah. Three points. Ah, uh, that was a lovely backhand guided shot from Tan Chiang. And it's all on um, good services from uh, Ho Ting. Yeah. Six straight points. Over fifteen seventeen. Oh, strings went in the racket of oh, Anders Rasmussen. So it's over eighteen. Mm, that was an unfortunate time for that to happen. Oh, 
Not that there's ever really a good time to break your strings. 1850. So it's over sixteen eighteen. forward in his forehand side but didn't get the pressure yeah. this has been a fabulous run of points nine of the last 11 points have gone to Game and point Tan Tian. 16. and far more importantly is now Four game point opportunities for the Chinese combination. Oi. Ten of twelve game. points. And a magnificent defensive shot from her G Ting to close out the opening game. 21 16. 16. Ian sixteen minutes. So the number 16 seats. Men vi skal længere frem, så vi kan længere blokke af. Så vi kun side side i returen. Der, deres, ja, deres træer, den, den skubber de bare forbi os. Vi spiller i starten meget, meget bedre end dem. Ja. Og så når vi rykker, så eksekverer vi. Ja. Ik? Og det, når Kim rykker helt op, så sidder vi tæt sammen. Det vigtigste er, at vi sidder tæt sammen hele tiden her. Fordi de, de spiller ikke tryk op i ketchup på os endnu. De ligger og finder et hul. Og så, så står vi sådan lidt, og så enten så løfter vi, eller spiller sådan et øh, søvler hen. Så er vi endda for at spille, altså max flyt til os. Ja, vi spiller endda på os lige nu, vi ligger bare og skyrer på forbi os. Når, når, du, når du er oppe bag en, man kan sige, og vi ligger hernede, så, så giv dem noget fart, og så må vi stoppe nummer, nummer to bagefter, ikke? Hvad med henover en gang imellem os? Jo, vi må sgu også godt have en overspænding, fordi de kommer ikke igennem os i den forstand. Det er bare vigtigt, at vi ikke står og kører røv, røv, røv bagud, ikke? Vi må godt løfte den første gang. Og vi må også godt gerne have en overspænding. Hey, 20 nu er det vest, der gas nu her. 20 hey, vi har prøvet det her Champions Kim Astrup and Anas Rasmussen do in response to the brilliance of the Chinese pair, especially of He Ji Ting in that opening game. What was the advice from Thomas Stangle? Uh, it was um, that um, the Chinese were trying to find some Entity gaps. Challenges called in. Challenge here. They were trying to find gaps of the Danes. So they were not sort of uh, challenging in the flat, fast paced game. So they were playing a little bit like the Indonesians, trying to find the uh, good spots. And the Danes um, didn't really know what to do, playing to the net, the lift, and everything got a little bit... Um, um, unsuccessful. What? Less than 100%. Yeah. Over. What? Love. Play.
Clever smash from Tang Kang, not oh. using full power. Chinese certainly do. Yes, but after the shuttle went down. So it was after the shuttle hit the floor, says Fabio Beto. Well, they so wanted to see two, a replay one. on the giant yeah. screen. I wouldn't mind seeing it again. Here we go. It oh. wasn't. Yeah, that's a fault, you know. That yeah. is a fault. Play. You have to play. Two, one. Well, umpires are human like the rest of us. We all make mistakes. So it's over two all. Thank goodness it wasn't at 29 all. <laughs> yeah. Fast and furious, I think. And they're playing is. fast past Kim Astro at the moment. He's not really um, Three, getting involved. Two. Couldn't get involved in that one. I totally agree with what you said in the beginning, Joe. They got to keep it away from Herji Singh. He's clearly the best player on the court. Yeah, there's a beautiful flick serve once again from Tang Chien. Strong comeback by her and Tan after that um, touch of the net. Won all three points. Racket's gone. Off he goes. Brilliant. Well, we said he was fast. Yeah. Uh, it was clever play by his partner as well. He, he knows the racket's gone, so he plays that little drop, runs forward, and turn uh, Chiang just played a slow drop to give his partner time to come back on. That, that's the clever thing they've done. They've taken the pace away on a lot of their downward shots. Not all of them, because there's some that has really power in it. And the Danes, they're, they're simply not disciplined uh, Six, enough. Two, two. In what way? What, what do you mean? Because, I mean, the thing is, is that uh, the Chinese are making them play fast. They're making them play fast, but but right now they have to play two against one. I mean, Hu yeah. Jinting is too good for them, and if they think, oh, maybe we can play a little drop shot to him, no, you can't, because he will play a good shot First ball, that ball. will make it difficult Three, for you to hit Tang Kang afterwards. Three, six. So this fault calls too high. Tang Jia. Uh, and, and the return was played to Hoji Ting. Four, six. Yeah, that was a good serve. that worked quite well yesterday Seven, against the Germans. Four. It's getting totally um, demolished today by uh, the Chinese. Clever play, mixing it up very well. Thank you. 
Silva. Five, seven. Play. Oh, psychological games. Chinese wanted the shuttle change. The Danes said no. Oof, one of those tumbling serves. It was a good one. Forward days. No, oh, that's good defense from Rasmussen. And a tank, he doesn't hit very hard from the back corner. Six. The Danes, they've got to be more offensive Seven. in their defense because he's the solution for them. Of course, for her and Tank, it's about uh, her taking the chances whenever he can, but more importantly, setting Tan up to play uh, above the tape where he has a good chance of succeeding. So it's over. Oh! Oh! Eight, six. Well played by uh, Rasmussen stepping forward. Seven, over. seven eight. Her duty appealing to the umpire Eight, to change the shuttle. Four, you yeah. notice Rasmussen rush forward to pick it up. Or in fact, they have taken a new one, I think. And this is all part of the psychological Eight, battle. Oh. Use your foot. Okay. Play on. I think this is a crucial moment of this match. Eight all, second game. And there's two wrong shots from the Danes in that rally, and that's the two net shots to uh, her Eight. Of course, it's not easy to played outside of his reach all the time. Challenging. It's the last challenge, is it? No, it's uh, the, there's a challenge now, and it's the first challenge of the okay. second game for the Danes. Yeah, Correct. good challenge, and it means that the Danes have the advantage in the nine at the midday here in the second game. Yeah, 
Well, I can tell you, we're not seeing it, but Herji Ting has stayed by the kit box. He's looking very, very dispirited. And in contrast, there was an awful lot of animation there from the Danes. Yeah. Like said. Uh, they, they need to step forward and get in the heads of the Chinese, meaning they need to put pressure on them from the front court. Um, I hope they've discussed before the match that it is imperative that they hit Tan Kiang. But I think if, if the Chinese lose this match, I think it's the last time we see Tan Kiang as a pair. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. I mean, they they promised a lot, didn't they? In 2018, they reached the final of the Fujo China Open, which is the second 50 event. And the following year, they won the uh, Said Modi, which was only a 300 event. Yeah. And they haven't really progressed. I know, of course, we've had the global pandemic, but I mean, uh, they've had chances and they haven't really produced as a pair. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be five straight points for the Danes. Look how off balance Kerji Ting was. Didn't they beat Gideon and Sukumaria once? Like. Hogan and Tan when they just emerged. Yes, it was in the quarterfinal of the Malaysian yeah. uh, 2018 7.50 event. They didn't just beat them, they thrashed them. Yeah. 17 and 11. Yeah, because that was sort of when um, there was, was a lot of expectation placed on them. Exactly. Ten. And, and that's that's yeah. my point. They, they've shown promise, but they haven't actually delivered. No, not at all. been a complete shift in momentum from 8-9 down the Danes have won 7 of the last 8 points can I stop racket is so far down that he's not going to get into anything at the net. I think he's quite nervous uh, from the discussion at the interval. with the Danes. There were a lot of rotation yesterday when they played um, Lamsfuss and Seidel, but um, Rasmussen is taking care of business by himself. And I like that shot. That was sort of a, a so half slash. But to use yeah. the forehand side of Tanchiak, there was nothing for him to feed off defensively. No, and that was what the Chinese did so brilliantly in the first game. They took off a lot of pace There it is. It worked again. Rasmussen. So 32. Doesn't well, seem to bounce like some 60. of the younger players when they dive.
keen to receive. Oh, I seem to stumble there. Yeah. Well, it's been a lot of bite in the Rasmus and Smash here in uh, this tournament. 17, 12. Dane's got quite confident beating Korka uh, and Saito in the first round. Yeah, they beat him in two straight games, didn't they? Because Koka and Saito have been playing well of late. Yeah, good play from her GT. 30 over, 13, 17. There's so many mistakes in uh, in Tang Kiang. Eighteen thirty. Nineteen thirty. Two points away from the second game. What a good serve. One point away from the second game. Well, this is a little bit worrying for her and uh, Tan because Kim Ashton is, uh, is upping third. his game, getting a little bit confidence on the uh, front court. Second game, 21-13 in favour of the number seven seeds from Denmark. Kim Astrup and Anna Skorak Rasmussen. One game off. Lightning, what's this for Scarby? You can't eat stone, they fall us. When they fail at this time, they have fallen in the fall of Robin Hood, so take them to the bank. Because I know he was urging them that they've got to attack more and they've got to rush forward to the net to try and take away the net from the Danes. What, what was Stungborn? They, they were also looking for the attack. Right. Uh, trying to close down the midcourt area first to get the attack so in the first place what? and then uh, they were going to oh. aim at um, Tank Yang. They were aware that he was... Um, I should have put it very, very, very nervous. <laughs> so good one. Yeah. So we saw that. Two, one.
and was quick on it. Uh, Tang Tang, that's well played. Tang Tang was so quick on that uh, third shot. Three, one. smashes when he moves backwards so that's why he can afford to be so close in the um, oh. uh, midcourt area when uh, Kim Astrup is serving because it doesn't really matter it makes his smash better that he moves backwards it was going right yeah. and, and that's something that we haven't seen Rasmussen do a whole lot throughout his career but we've seen it a lot in this tournament so he's been much more adventurous on the front court, and I think it helped him play with Frederick Sogard in the Suleiman Cup uh, match because he had to take his share of the work on the front court. Yeah, I agree with that. Good control. Oh, yeah, that's a weak one. Yeah. Four, oh. Let's uh, and look at the reaction of the two Chinese players. So five, yeah, and I got a, four. applause from the coach because, and that's good because they, they did everything right here in this rally. They were fast on the uh, mid-court area, taking it high. because I'd like his backhand drive. And Tan, Tan did well there in the attack, maintaining uh, the pressure from the backcourt. I think the Danes will have to come forward of the first or second uh, defensive shot. They need to uh, move their stance towards the net. The Danes. Six, five. And I think they're a little bit tense as well. Now, Rasmussen, Rasmussen, because they can feel that the chance is there. Yeah, absolutely. Six, five. Especially these situations where Hu Jiting is uh, serving that's good for the Chinese combination. Difficult for the Danes to uh, get out of it. Good 
play by time. He moved forward. Excellent play. Service over. Seven, six. Yeah, we haven't seen an awful lot of that from Tony Sheehan. No. Smash from her duty. Eight, six. It's just white. And, and it's got Vasmus in challenges. Uh, Kim knows that it's gone yeah. white. He's not going to win that challenge. And it's clearly wide. So only Gally one challenge left in this deciding one game for the Danes. Remaining. And that could prove costly. Nine, six. Yeah, well, I think they hope to uh, stop the run of points for... Play. And then uh, he. Oh, it is a run of four straight points. Ten, six. And the Chinese are making the court small, the court that the Danes want to play, forcing them to lift. They're playing really well now in the service situation. Four, eleven. So Six. it is actually a run of five straight points for a five-point advantage at the change of ends here in the deciding game. Anything you could pick up there? Did you pick no, up anything? I, I no, I couldn't pick up anything. Big advantage uh, in 10. Oh, that good attacking play by the Danes. And the problem is that they're uh, standing on this near side of the court. You can't really lift with uh, accuracy, and we could see that her and Tan's solution was to lift really, really high, try to distort the timing of the Danes. They're playing with the drift, and that means that um, the pair playing the far side of the court, they can overcover the front court area. So a couple of small deceptions. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That was an awful service, and an even worse return. Tries to smile at it, Tan Xian. But that was a horror. Is that going to change momentum? Good uh, play from her duty. Service over. Chinese fans. Eight. Look at that. That skin the net. That was super. Simple put away, but it was his shot before that that made the difference. Twelve. Eight. Black. Yeah, very 
the work by the Chinese pair. change events the Chinese because it's worth something it's a mental capital the Danes will feel a pressure to score Let. Oh, well, sure. uh, shouldn't have returned that one heard you think uh, his to the coach it's be short. problem is when you're committed to try and rush the the low serve sometimes it's very difficult to leave it yeah it is I think it's because it's tumbling. Fantastic play by the last machine. All of a sudden, it's real close again. Yeah. Play. Another tumble serve. Yeah. They're never surviving that attack, so they might as well do something the first time the Danes. but every time they hit her jitting, they get punched in the nose. I did wonder whether they should be trying to use the back corners of the, with their return of serve. Yeah. And it's over. 12, 15. I would go for the option of playing it directly into uh, the head body of uh, Tang Kiang. Well, 15. Oh, goodness, what happened there? Just lost his balance. move but it all stemmed from those five straight points it does in the first half of from six all to eleven to six and now now the uh, nervousness is gone I think 18 12. from a Chinese perspective I think they feel now that they're winning this yeah Yeah. 
well, it really is now or never as far as the dates are concerned. They matched up with service. service. 13, 18. Well, he needs to be serving better than ever. Well, his serve previously was pretty good, especially when he tumbled it. And again, good tumble serve. Oh, that's a good shot from her G T. That has been absolutely amazing. Yeah. So it's all about two points away from the world championship final for her G Ting and Tang Chiang. Opportunities. So it's over. 20. Match point. 40. It wasn't the best of serves. <laughs> that was a, <laughs> a nervous, nervous shot so from Tang Chiang. 15. 20. Yeah. Jumps up and from down on the spot. Game. So they're trying to loosen the nerves. And that's it. Ji Ting and Tang Jian have booked their place in the final. 21-15 the deciding game in a match lasting two minutes shy of the hour mark. Well, it was a good match and a great fight by the Danes, but they were beaten by a better pair today. Plenty of Chinese fans here in Welva. Victory for This is the final rally. Look at Tang Chiang. Dropped his racket. It was relief rather than elation. Headband went in to the fans. And they will play against Fuki and Kobayashi in tomorrow's men's doubles final. Confirmation of the scoreline, 21-16, 13-21, 21-15 in the deciding game in a match lasting 58 minutes. So one more semi-final to come and it's the second men's singles semi-final. Anna Zantensen, the silver medalist from two years ago, is up against Lo Ken Yu from Singapore who put out the Olympic champion in the very first round.
too well that preparations for the festive season in full swing. And of course it was from where Christopher Columbus set sail for the Americas. Well one more semi-final to come today. Second of the many singles semi-finals. Well, what a semi-finals day it's been so far. Such tremendous matches. Our last two matches going the full distance. Up next is the silver medalist from two years ago, Anna's Antonsen, the reigning European champion. And he's up against Lokin Yu of Singapore. Unseeded, but he beat Victor Axelson, the Olympic champion, in the very first round. So at quarterfinal stage, we only had three seeds left in the competition. One in the top half, six different nationalities, three players from 